There's quite a lot of confusion surrounding how to charge an electric car these days. It's easy to see why too, with all manner of terms and options available to those who are choosing plug-in power for the first time. The thing is, putting charge into your EV needn't be difficult. As a core part of owning and running an electric car, charging is something you'll have to do on a near daily basis. So let's take a look at how you do it. Home charging is one of the easiest ways to make sure that your car's batteries are topped up. You can do it via a three pin plug, but this is slow and not recommended unless you're in a pinch. The best option is via a home wall box, which is essentially a professionally installed dedicated EV charger attached to your house. When you purchase your electric car, it's worth speaking to the retailer about home wall box options, but there are a variety of third party companies who will be able to install it for you too. The government currently offers subsidies for the installation as well, which will bring the cost to around £300. When it comes to public charging, it's worth establishing first what type of connector your car needs. The two most popular are CCS and CHAdeMO, with the majority of vehicles using the former. You'll be able to find out which one your car uses by checking the port or looking in your vehicle's manual, though the retailer should have told you what type your car uses beforehand. Finding a charger when you need to top up is easy. Many EVs have available charging points integrated into their satellite navigation, and will be able to direct you to one should you need to top up. However, if you need to broaden your search or look prior to setting off, then ZapMap is a good place to start. It's a handy website or app which shows the more than 35,000 chargers currently available in the UK. When looking for a charger online, you'll probably see the speeds they offer listed next to them. Measured in kilowatts, this is effectively how quickly electricity can be put into your car. Think of it as the rate the petrol comes out from the pump, and the larger the number, the quicker the speed. A 7 kilowatt charger is often seen as a destination charger and is ideal for overnight top-ups, but it's not quick enough to put a decent amount of charge into your car over a short period. For that, you'll want a 50 kilowatt charger at least, which is becoming the go-to speed in the UK. Following on from that, you've got super fast 150 watt kilowatt chargers, which can take some cars from 0 to 80% in as little as half an hour, while there are even 350 kilowatt chargers which deliver a super fast charge. However, even if you find a 350 kilowatt charger, it doesn't necessarily mean that your car will be able to accept a charge at that speed. Each EV is rated to receive a certain speed, so that governs how quickly you can charge it. Volkswagen's E-Up, for instance, is rated to 40 kilowatts, so even if you plugged it into a 150 kilowatt charger, the maximum speed that it could accept would be 40 kilowatts. Once you've found a charger, it's time to get plugged in. How you do this varies between units, but it's becoming far more standardized as more are installed. Older chargers often required a subscription to a service, but these are far less common now. Some might require you to download an app, which you'll then load with funds and use to start the charger. However, contactless using chargers are becoming more common. With these, all you need to do is tap your contactless card, connect your car, and you're away. Once you're finished, simply tap your card to stop the charge and uncouple your car from the unit.